Hi, here we are for lesson 4 and we're learning about a thing called a variable. Now a variable is familiar to you if you think about the algebra that you do in maths. So you can say x equals 4, so 2 times x is going to equal 8, and x minus 2 is going to equal 2. So you're basically saying this thing called x equals this thing called 4, and there's something very similar that we do in computer programming, and that's called a variable. So you'll see here at the start of the program, I'm saying name equals, inverted commas, because it's particular text, using a variable. So whenever the computer program now sees this variable called name, I've told it what it means. So if you look down here in line 3, text window, right line, brackets, name. So whatever the variable is here in name, it is what it will print. So I run that and sure enough it prints using a variable. Now you may very well ask why not just put what you want to say here in the code and the answer is because you might want to actually show this or use this information again and again. So what we could do, excuse me while I type this correctly, so now it will print on line 3 it will print the variable name which we know is using a variable and on line 4 it will do it again so it's making things that are reusable and also as we go on things that we can control and manipulate so when we run this program we will see that using a variable is printed because that's a line saying print that print name and print name again so it happened twice so here is what your task is you need to create a variable called name and put your name in it. You need to create a variable called age and put your age. You'll notice that numbers don't have inverted commas around them and you need to print on the screen the name variable and the age variable. So when your program runs, because it is your time to code, then this is what it will look like. So I'll just move that in where you can see it. Um, so it will have printed the variable name and the variable age. Don't just write them in here where it's printing. Set them up as variables and then get the program to print the variable. So that's your task for lesson four.